And the Super Dallas is more like a high watt, or a, it's kind of in between like an old high watt and a, and a great black clean Super Reaper. So let me plug into that amp. And it, it has more low end and not as much gain as the anniversary. And it, this may be a hundred, I don't know, but you'll hear this. So I've got that turned, the, the, the channel volume turned up louder. And that now, when I hear that, I'm like, damn, that sounds good too, you know? I mean, like, I don't know which one's better. got more lows and a little more on the high end, a little less focused in the mid-range. And this is an incredibly versatile amp. I use this for everything from, um, I have a song on the, my new CD called Skimming the Surface, and the melody line is, they're both, the melody line and the rhythm track are both played on this amp. And when you hear it, they're like totally night and day. And again, one of them, it's this guitar, one of them is the bridge channel, bridge pickup, and humbugging. And the other, the rhythm track is in the middle position in single coil. And you hear the versatility of not only the guitar, but of the amp. Um, and that, that song is, if you want to know what this amp can do, the range, that song will really give you the, uh, the full gamut. And, on, and I think on the solo on that song, I played the uh, HXBA mod on the anniversary. So there's three tracks on there that cover all those tracks. Okay. Um, now, again, if, you know, on this tone, it's pretty crunchy. Turn it down to seven. That actually does the clean sounds even nicer than the anniversary. Yeah, let me... single coil. Turn it all the way up. Go up in the middle position. And it seems like it's a little dark, so I can dial back the bass pickup a little bit. And that's a big thing about this guitar.